much. So all our, we're talking to people who are doing big things in big ways. Our next guest, his name is Odian Reed. He's a self-taught chef who brings the go big or go home mantra to your home. Okay, he's a traveling chef that puts the wow in home dining experience. From Easter dinner, take a look. Look at that ham, oh my gosh. Okay, to transforming a small kitchen counter to a mouth-watering buffet. Whose house is that? I need to go. <laughs> to the ultimate, look at this fairy tale wedding reception. So Odian says his goal is to give clients more than they expect, taking his love of cooking and shaking up the event planning industry with his business. It's called the Coconut Cup NYC, which he founded with his fiance, Michaela, and they've traveled the world to places like Canada, Dominican Republic, and of course, New York City, bringing full course buffet just for us. They're going to reveal a one of a kind Tamron Hall show buffet. But before we see what they've got, please welcome Jamaican born chef Odian Reed and his fiance, this is partner, Michaela Bartley. You came out with your chef's outfits on, so that means we've got something good coming soon. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, congratulations. You have a huge following. People love these reveals. You are self-taught yes. chef. Uh, your mom, Yvonne, was a chef as well. How did you decide, or where did you see the need to take this to the next level? Well, I'm um, coming here and saw that everyone is just doing the regular stuff. Yeah. and. If I'm going to do something, I right, go big or go home, yeah. as you guys. So eventually, it's like, no, I got to do something different. With me, I'm like, okay, if something is green, I need it to be purple. Oh. <laughs> so it's like putting a twist towards every single thing that I do. That's the biggest steak bone I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Michaela, uh, it's a family business. And I mean, are there times where he comes? Look at those peas and rice. That's the biggest bowl of peas and rice I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Are there times when you say, honey, this, you're never going to be able to pull this one off? Initially, in the start, <laughs> sometimes, you know, sometimes. But eventually, once I started to see the bigger picture, the vision became more clear to me. So, you know, he said, okay, this is, what, this is my vision, and I just help ex execute when the time comes. So this is your signature. Let's go and show some of this. This is Easter. You made this food display using a sink kitchen as a fire pit and the hanging meat. Yes. Okay, oh, I didn't realize that was the fire pit. So you put the fire pit in there. In the sink. And then those are steaks, and is that a ham? Yes, it is. Okay, when, <laughs> when people walk in yeah. to something like that, what, I wouldn't know where to start with all of it. Yes, that's, that's correct, because people are like, wow, the first impression, like, everyone was like, oh, wow. Yeah. So eventually, yeah, people always go crazy. It's like phone, everything out, uh, whatever you, I'm in action. Do you sketch this? How far in advance do you sketch these out? Um, it's, it all depends. Some of these are last minute, and some what? of these, is, because guess what? <laughs> um, I stay consistently as in working, uh -huh. as in every single day creating these events. You're so, like the skit from In Living Color, the Jamaican that never <laughs> stops working. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. So this is a wedding in Alabama. Your clients wanted a French storefront look. You gave them this. This is stunning. So you, 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 do you do the decor as well? Yes. Yeah, so everything. What? So no, <laughs> normally, what I will do is I coordinate with like event planners. As in, whenever clients reach out to me, it's yeah. like, oh, you're that person. I need you. So eventually, coordinate with event planners are. The, the clients normally like, express themselves to me. So normally I would be the person like, okay, all right, I know this exactly what you need. And I saw the shrimp cocktail inside the picture there. This is like a, a fountain, but then if you go closely, they just pass. Look, there's shrimp in there. There's shrimp. I, I, spotted the, I always spot the shrimp. Uh, on average, how long does it take you to do a job? It depends. I'd say minimum three to four hours. Three to on four? minimum. Depending. That's fast. So it all, dep it all depends. Uh, for me, I'm... I like to take my time. I'm more of a perfection okay. person. So I will be there if the party is like from five, I want to be there at six, seven in the morning just to get, just to take my time and give oh, it boy. that perfect. Okay, well coming up, Odian and Michaela took their time and they have a big reveal 
that you will only see on our show. They've been working around the clock, because he does not just take three to four hours, I promise you that. Putting together a buffet in our studio that may inspire your next event. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Go big or go home. Welcome back. Okay. I, behind this blue screen, we have something I have not seen. We are talking to people who say go big or go home. We were just talking to Chef Odian and his fiance, Michaela. They have built a signature brand on creating some of the most over the top, unique displays for parties around the world, from brunches to steak lanterns. Steak lantern? Nothing is off limits. So today, they have created a one of a kind full course buffet for our show. It's behind me, I haven't seen it, the audience has not seen it. Are we ready? Yeah! Okay, three, two, one, let's see it! Oh! Oh, wow! can see us on this other way. Oh, if we're standing behind this, they can't see us. Okay, so tell me what we have here. All right, so we have at least the ham. This is the, the ham. ham. Yes, and at, at a party, this would normally be on flame. Party. Yes, so okay. this would be a fire pit just okay. to keep the ham um, right. eaten. And I see beef patties here. Yes, Jamaican all, beef patties. Also, yes, we have some salad right here. Yeah. Salad. Yes, so normally yeah. it's like a brunch menu. Can so. I taste this ham? Of course. <laughs> And so your idea for something like this is to have people just rush up and grab. Yes, that's great. Um, for me, it's just painting a picture. And, and what picture are you painting here? Because you got the globes uh, here. As in something festive, as uh -huh. in go big or go home. So yeah. definitely it's like, let's give you the best in the sense of oh. where food is. And they're telling concept. me now I can open the globe. Michaela's oh, gonna open the I'll globe for us. So oh! here we have <laughs> Do you have oxtails in a globe? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't have a single spoon or a fork to try it. <laughs> I'm gonna put my it's mine. Oh, wow. So. Oh my God. No. <laughs> oh my God. So the reason uh, for no, the <laughs> I would love to share. <laughs> I starved myself all day for this. Okay. <laughs> so do you display this in this way because it's an element of surprise? Yes. Yeah, so you know, we try to bring Jamaica food right around the world. So eventually yeah. that's a representative of oh our country. Oh my god. <laughs> and is there something in the other globe? Uh, yes, of course. Oh, and there's something in the other globe. Of course, the globe even spin as well. So oh, you can spin globe. it? <laughs> yes. Okay, let me open the globe. Oh, you open the globe, because I have uh, oxtails on my yes. hands. <laughs> oh, peas and rice, too. <laughs> wow. You both are big on, they are both big on mentoring and coaching other aspiring chefs around the world. Some of them are here with us. Natalie Rivera, Kadeen Jackson. They helped create this beautiful display. <laughs> Along with assistant chef Aldine Oakley. Thank you so much for your heart. Congratulations on this. And for more on Coconut Cup NYC, go to our website, TamaronHallShow.com. Coming up. I'm Tom Braddock, principal of Falwell Elementary School in Mount Holly, New Jersey, the same school I attended 40 years ago. Every Friday afternoon, I visit one student from every classroom in my school at their home with their families for crushing the week and standing out and impressing their teachers. So far, I've been able to visit over 250 students in their homes, and my goal is to get to every student's home before the end of the school year. The reaction and the joy and the smiles on the kids' faces is just so rewarding. Spending time with the students in their own homes lets the kids know that we believe in them and they have greatness within to achieve anything they want in life. 